Hello everybody, welcome to a quick video here from Homesteading Off the Grid. What you see here are birds feeding at our bird feeder. You can't tell from looking at the video, but I'm taking it from inside instead of outside because it is 8 degrees right now. It is uh, January 6, 2018, and we're going through that Arctic blast or something, I don't know, they're calling it a cyclone. The media they always come up with these really funky names for um, these storms so anyway I'm getting kind of a grainy view here let me see if I can get in a little bit closer I want to explain something to you here you see a bunch of cardinals there we've got some three or four male cardinals three or four female cardinals we've got some teat mice sounds like a small rodent but it's actually a bird and we got nut hatches in there. Um, but I want to explain to you how birds actually stay warm in these Arctic temperatures. Like I said, it's 8 degrees outside. And these birds, believe it or not, um, well, they're not as warm as could be. They're cold. But this is how they survive. At night, what they do is during the day, they eat as much as they can. If they're awake, they're eating. That's why we give them bird seed in the winter to help them out. And... Uh, you notice it looks like the bird feeder is empty. There's no seed in it, but I actually just went out about 20 minutes ago and threw a bunch of seed in the sticks. We did a video last week showing you how to protect your wild birds from your cats or your neighbor's cats, especially in the winter. And the way you do it is you just make a little brush pile there underneath your feeder so that the birds can be safe and protected. Um, I see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 birds underneath all that brush right now feeding. So during the day, in the winter, they eat. If they're awake, they eat. And they're trying to store up as much body fat as they can to keep them warm at night. Now at night, while they sleep, they do two things to keep warm. Uh, well, three things actually. Number one is they have the ability to slow their metabolism down more so than, than mammals. You know, when we sleep, our metabolism naturally slows. Our heart rate slows. Our blood pressure drops. Um, birds are able to do it multiple times greater than people. And that helps keep them warm at night. Uh, the biggest thing they do is they fluff up their feathers, kind of like they do when they take a dust bath to get the mites off of themselves. They fluff up their feathers and they keep them fluffed up. And then those fluffed up feathers create pockets of air uh, in which they trap their body heat. So their body heat does not radiate completely off of them at night. It stays trapped within their feathers. So just as you know how comfortable and cozy it is to sleep in a goose down comforter on a cold winter's night, that's kind of pretty much what the birds are doing. You know, they have the down built right there on their bodies. And then thirdly, because you might say, well, their feet and their legs have got to be cold. Well, what they do is they alternatively stick their legs. Some of the birds went over there. They see me at the window recording and they're off in the field. Let's see if I can zoom in and get it clear. See those beautiful cardinals? Um... They'll stand on one leg and they'll keep one of their legs tucked up inside their feathers to stay warm for a while. And then they'll alternate. They'll stick that leg down and pull the other one up. So they'll do that throughout the night. So those are the three main things that wild birds do in the winter. Uh, the wind chill factor here got down to three below zero two nights ago. And these birds were out here when the sun came up. And the wind chill was about zero at sunrise that day. So they fluff up their feathers to trap their body heat. They alternate sticking their legs and their feet up into their feathers. And they slow their metabolisms down drastically. And then they come out here to our house during the day to eat all this food. We even gave them some leftover cake. I know there's probably some people out there who are going to be upset about that. Leave some comments. You shouldn't feed wild bird cakes. Wild bird's cake. Well, we fed them some leftover cake. They liked it. And, uh, but yeah, help them out in the winter. Give them some bird seed if you can. And make sure to put a brush pile there below your feeder to keep your cat away. So we hope this video was informative. And join us here often for more videos on homesteading off the grid. And make sure to check us out on Facebook. If the Facebook police will let you see our posts. We don't pay to play, and so... Chances are you might not even get to see our posts even though you've liked our page. But they're there just in case you want to check them out. 